Hello there and welcome to another video with Test Illustrates. Today we are gonna look at the part 2 of the Ecoline liquid watercolors. Last time we looked at them all individually and we made some swatch cards for my swatch book and this time we are gonna be making a mixing chart to see how all the colors that I got mixed together now like I last, uh, in my last video mentioned, the most of these colors that I have are from the mixing set that you can buy. Those are 10 bottles and next to that I have 3 bottles of my own. These are the white, the gold and the red violet. But I did include these in the mixing chart, but if you are just looking at the mixing sets, those three colors are not in the set. I bought those myself individually. So um, I uh, thought I would just mention that to make it clear that those are not in the sets. First off, we started mixing with the yellows, the oranges and the reds. You can see that they mix really vibrant mixes and I think that that is a really um, good description for the whole set that um, is in the mixing set. They are all, they are all really f vibrant colors and if you don't dilute them with water because they are liquid, you can just paint with them right out of the bottle. They are just really punching colors. And as you see, even when you mix them, they don't become muddy or anything. They become really vibrant colors. Now, um, when we start mixing in the blues, and you can see that if you mix them with their um, complementary color so like in this instance the reds that it becomes a bit more muddy but um, it's not muddy as in it becomes a really dirty brown or anything or right, what, you know, what you get when you have watercolors that are multiple pigments and you mix those together but muddy in a way that you mix the neutrals and the browns with uh, complementary colors but I find that those neutrals and browns that you mix with these colors are still vibrant even uh, if they are the complementary colors so I think that's a really pretty thing Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both To just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend mm -hmm. Too scared now, thinking I should call up I think it's hard how we always wait another day How we watch things the kids walk away Now 
we can see that the greens that you can mix with the lemon yellow and the both of the blues become really vibrant greens one is more cool and the other one is more warm and um, even the orange mixes really pretty greens a bit more muted but still really strong in color and to be honest i love those greens more myself than the really vibrant ones they will be more useful for nature paintings and with the um, green that is in the set is um, also really vibrant but I find the mixes that it makes especially with the um, reds and the blues in the set I find really pretty and I think that those are really useful for shadows and backgrounds and all that stuff I think even in animals themselves they will be really useful so also a really useful color even though in the original swatching I asked why would they include a, a green in the set and also the orange I was a bit doubtful about that too because if you have all the primaries and you would also for example have a warm yellow instead of an orange and all that stuff that that would make more sense but if I see the mixes that I can make with the whole set then I think that it is a full set you have warms and cools from everything even if the yellow one is an orange but um, the mixes that come out that you would need a warm yellow for is still usable and if you need a warm yellow on itself then you can mix that with um, the yellow and the orange I might even think that from the whole mixing chart the colors that were mixed with the green and the sepia are my favorite of the whole bunch because um, with all the colors the yellows oranges the pinks and the blues and everything they mix really nicely and you can still see the original color shining through but at the same time they become a bit brownish or a bit grayish so neutrals and browns and um, they become a bit muted a bit moody and I think those colors are really valuable in nature paintings but also it's just a color palette that I myself really enjoy and I think that those moody colors that you can mix with the green and the sepia are very well balanced out with original colors in the little um, pots but also with the colors that you can mix with all the other colors so it is um, balanced out with vibrant colors and muted colors and everything in between you can make with those so I think that if you get the mixing set even if that not includes a white, a gold and um, the red violet that you can get a really well balanced palette and that it's a really nice set to be starting with and you can always build it out to other colors they have a really wide range of colors um, I have the little pamphlet here and it says um, that they are now available in 60 colors and the um, little flasks or pots or however you call them that I have are 30 milliliter and from some colors they have bigger ones but not much but I think that with how vibrant they are that the little 30 milliliter pots will come a really really long way and with the new design that they have with the little pipettes on top they are also really easy to use I myself have a bit of trouble with opening them but that might be just me 
and uh, the only thing that they don't have is any light fasteners and next to the flask they also have the brush pens which also are really enjoyable especially on watercolor paper then that's where they are uh, shine the best and um, I haven't used them a lot yet so I don't know how to balance out the price between the pots and the brush pens if it's a good price relation or that you can better just buy, buy the little flasks and use that but I think the brush pens are more convenient in use in that you can easily bring them with you they don't make such a mess that is if uh, for example you would knock over one of the little pots of um, watercolor it's liquid so it will just spill like water so it um, will make a big mess if you do that so that's not something I would recommend to take with you on the go and that's also I think um, something to realize that these liquid watercolors is something that you have to have an art nook or something it's hard to use for example on the go or if you uh, want to sit on the couch or anything <laughs> mixes on the chart are gonna be with grays and blacks from the mixing set um, the grays mute the colors a bit but not like the sepia and um, the green did but more as in it tones the vibrancy a bit down but it doesn't change the color a whole lot um, I think the colors that were changed the most were the yellows they became a bit greenish but with the black the colors became really dark you could see, see uh, still see the original color but the um, black made it like a shadow variant from that color so I think that's a really nice way to be mixing with black 
um, it didn't really overtake the colors but just made them really dark and you could vary how dark you make it with how much black you uh, mix in and um, then further on the mixing chart there will be white and the gold mixed in with the um, all the colors but i ran out of daylight so you can see a really little bit of uh, mixing for the white but the rest of the of that line of colors and also the whole line of gold mixes i didn't film the swatching itself i just filmed the next day that's uh, how it looked so i apologize for that footage that is missing but it was just way too dark and you couldn't really see the colors that well so i didn't think that it would be that valuable to include that and i just shot some footage the next day of the whole chart so i hope that uh, still gives you a good look at uh, how the colors appear when you mix them with white and with gold the white is a bit more um, a, a thicker paint which is in the bottle than the rest of the colors and it also um, makes the colors opaque you can see that in the swatches uh, later on but it gives them a bit more of an opaque look um, this is something that some people don't want so it's something that uh, you should uh, no, that, that white is uh, really different than the rest. The gold um, is just as liquid as the rest and it um, mixes really nicely with it. But it doesn't uh, dissolve in other paints. It just um, becomes a bit like granulating. I do really like the effect though. It's a bit... Um, almost like two colored paint if you mix it with the gold and it shows up the most in the darker colors so like the black and the ultramarine, ultramarine violet and the red violet um, however in the lighter colors especially the gray i do really like it too and um, i think it's a bit of a personal taste if you like the shimmer in your paint in, in your painting and also what colors you enjoy the most but myself i do enjoy having this gold and being able to mix it with all of it i use it myself also outside of um, paintings with this aquilina just with my other watercolors as i want to do something in the final details with the gold it's a really um, easy way to go because it's already liquid same with the white i also use that with my other watercolors so they do layer really nicely with nicely with normal watercolors and they also do mix with normal watercolors so all with all i am um, really happy with them they have their own pluses and um, downside but i think that's something that everybody has to decide for themselves i myself wouldn't make a full painting with them that i would sell because they are not light fast but however i do really enjoy painting with them and i will continue painting with them and i think that was it for this video um we talked a lot about these and uh, i hope that it was all informative for you and that it will help you make a decision about these paints if you were thinking about buying them i hope you enjoyed watching and i want to thank you for watching i want to thank my patreons very much for supporting me over there and with this that this channel and i hope to see you all next time bye